just like your ex-wife, I lied to you. There's no sweat here and never has been. But I will be showing my version of the 6-0 method. Basic idea is you hit garage door 6 times while he hits you 0, or so I've been told. Bring your crystal armor and bofa, and you really only need zamrock and bandos god pieces, but I bring a holy symbol as well for the hell of it. Adjust your equipment accordingly. If you have something better than me, put it on. This is a pretty base set, nothing crazy going on here. And for the inventory, you might have better results using a decent Ceridoman brew to super restore ratio, but I'm a little group Iron Man and I find Shark to be good enough for me. Just do not forget your stamina potions. I'd bring anywhere from 3 to 5. Once you get the feel for it, you can determine how many you'll need for your trips. I'm bringing thralls as my blood runes are low. For longer trips, I definitely recommend you bring a blowpipe along with blood barrage spells. If you go with blood barrage and got money like that, you don't need to bring a magic rope switch. Instead, try a tormented bracelet, a cult necklace, and a wand or an ancient staff. So just keep your crystal armor on, put those items on. You should not splash on the minions too much. And you also need a hammer along with a gommel's hilt or a trollheim teleport. Don't forget your telly out. I'm just using the hilt. Look, dude, this is a Bofa method, and if you have one of these, I'd imagine you're familiar with getting KC. If for some reason you're not, go to God Wars Dungeon, get 40 KC, and if you have the combat tasks done, get the respected amount you need. Attack goblins in the northern area. I drew some smiley faces where they're around, and these pillars made little eyeballs, so that's kind of cute. I don't recommend using ecumenical keys for bandos. It's a bit of a waste, but if you want to, I do have a guide on how to obtain them, as well as how to kill Criara with a Bofa, if you're interested. After your KC, bang on this big psalm bitch, run up to the boss room, and this is going to be super easy. But you'll want two rune light plugins, tile indicators, and ground markers. Tile indicators can show you your true tile marker, which is this blue box you can see my character running towards. That's your actual position according to the game's registered tick. This will be hugely beneficial in this 6-0 method. Next is ground markers. This allows you to mark the tiles you'll be running to. And I've already prepared them for you, so I'll have this in the description, but you will simply copy the text, right click on the world map, and click import. So uh, they should be done for you and under screen. If not, or if you really want to do them yourself like a goose, I have put numbers on how many spaces the tiles are from each other. Keep in mind, this is by counting tile A as number one and just going from there. Look, this place is infested with fucking nerds. I swear to God, like it's so hard to find a world, but if you're an Iron Man, you're, you're doing pretty good because you have that torch right there and if it's lit that means another iron man is in there or a group variant whatever if it's not lit you're good to go in the room and you have your like your own instance now the fight is fairly simple in itself on our first rotation uh the goal is to get garage door lined up and to do this we throw on protect from melee attack him on tile a run straight to tile c and then while skipping b this is so we can line him up properly for the rest of the fight Avoid the tile saying next round, that's where you'll want to start every kill after the first. Do not attack on this tile, simply wait there for the boss to spawn, run to tile A, shoot, and repeat. Alright big boy, you ready? I'm a little nervous. Step in, don't forget, son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna get whacked. Skipping this. Some of my little thrall. Come up here. And then, what I'm talking about is every time my blue box lines up with the yellow tile marker, that's when I shoot. So right now I shoot, and now I can attack from B, because he's lined up. Attack from B, from C, and the blue box lines up with the yellow, and that's when we attack, and then run. Instant it lines up, go ahead and attack, and then just run. That's all. There's some margin for error. Um, don't get too caught up in this. It's not that big of a deal. If you do make mistakes, it happens. I've died here plenty of times. Go ahead and skip B if you really want to, if you're kind of nervous about it or you're having a lot of issues. Other than that, you should be pretty good. You can get a combat task here called Org Freezer. I think I'll put it on the screen. And uh, you can actually do that without freezing him by just doing this method and not getting hit. So next, I'll attack the mage first because he does a lot of damage to me. You can keep running around for the melee and do the same thing with Bandos, but it's not that big of a deal for me. I don't even pray flick here, which I probably should. I might squeak out a few more a uh, few more kills, but I don't really care that much. This is great if you have a blowpipe or the blood spells I was talking about. Like, you can just stack these guys up and just go to town. You can use the 6-0 method for more than just the Bofa. Um, I'm 
personally just not sure if it works the same if you want to give that a shot why not man just bring the crossbow you can do a rune crossbow here it's totally possible uh, people probably will say stuff like it's not worth it because it's not optimal but you know what else wasn't optimal me eating a fucking chili potato and only healing seven hp but i am realistic I'm a, I'm a realist so i don't follow the guides that say you'll get fucking 200k xp an hour because i never get it if they say 200k xp an hour i'm getting 70. stand right here where it says next round I, you might not have to pray this, but I do just because I'm scared. Run to A. Smack. Skip. Skip B. Smack on C9. And then just keep going, man. I also uh, keep forgetting about my thralls. It's a common thing with me. I forget them everywhere. So if you are using thralls like I am, just uh, remember to put them on. You can probably do it wherever, but I tend to match up the blue with the yellow, and then thrall. I shouldn't have done two ticks, but I did. But yeah, this is ascension. Did I even summon a thrall for my first kill? That's kind of embarrassing. But... I had to cut it short. Someone was at my door, but that pretty much gets everything across that I was trying to get out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and thanks for watching.